Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Thursday, February 11th, 2010. Well, again, a nice solid up day on Wall Street, but that is not how it started. We saw the markets ultimately drop early on in the morning, only to regain their mojo later in the day. Why? Simply put, the dollar, folks. The dollar reversing to the downside, the markets taking off to the upside. It is the same old, same old when it comes to the dollar and its ability to make the markets go in the opposite direction. It's all about the dollar, folks. Continues to be so, and I'm going to explain exactly what happened this morning. Today, we essentially got news out that Greece was going to get bailed out. Now, initially, what that would do would strengthen the dollar, right? You would think so, right? Because you bail out Greece, you're going to bail out all the countries, all right? You just don't bail out one. We learned that with Lehman Brothers. You don't bail out Lehman, you have problems. You have to bail out everyone. Therefore, everyone in the U.S. financial system got bailed out. So you go to Greece. Greece. Greece gets bailed out. All of a sudden, that means that more stimulus money flowing into the European countries, more money getting in, put into the system that should, in theory, weaken the euro. However, this is the key. Initially, that was the response, and I'm going to go to the UUP chart and explain exactly what I mean. Initially, that was the response. You can see a beautiful move up on the dollar there. You're looking at the UUP chart, the dollar ETF, and right up it goes. So the response was the correct response, what the amateur would think. But remember, it's all about doing the opposite of what the amateur thinks. All right, so the amateur thinks the dollar would go higher on that news. That's exactly what happens preliminary on the markets. So the markets drop, the dollar surges. Now, what changes here? What's the key change pivot point? Well, you have to understand this and look at the bigger picture, folks. If there's one thing you have to know about the market, Markets. It's this, the markets are smarter than Wall Street, they're smarter than the amateur, they're smarter than even most of the pros out there. So what's been going on here, folks, ever since Greece came out, remember Dubai back in November right here, when the dollar was at the lows, this is the first sign, remember Dubai came out literally right here. Well, Dubai, the issues with Dubai literally marked the bottom for the dollar. All right, now why? Well, Greece came out just a little while after Dubai. That was Wall Street starting to, or the dollar starting to price in what they knew was going to happen. All right. So again, folks, over the last two plus months, really since the beginning of December, all the way up here to to uh, to February now, which is actually three months in length, the dollar's been rallying. What that's been doing is pricing in the fact that Wall Street, or the dollar at least, knew that all these countries were going to get ultimately bailed out. Okay, so that's been why the dollar's been strengthening. You can look back and say, wow, they knew ahead of time. So my point being is, oftentimes when you have a move like this and you are at the highs of the year or the highs of the recent history, you're going to see a sell the news type event. And that's ultimately what you saw today on the dollar. The dollar initially rallies, which is what the amateurs would think, and then all of a sudden down you go on the dollar. And the dollar now is negative by two cents. We all know when the dollar falls, you're going to see a massive surge higher in the markets. The SPY, look at this. Here's initially the drop on the dollar, and then look at the surge. When the dollar, excuse me, here's when the dollar was rallying, and then here's your massive move up in the markets when the dollar drops. So take a look at that, folks. Again, here's the pivot high in the market on the dollar. Right there's the dollar at the highs at 11 o'clock. What happens to the markets at 11 o'clock? Here you go, folks. 11 o'clock, bam, to the upside. And you can see how, again, the inverse is working beautifully here on the markets as, again, the dollar falls over the course of the morning, late morning session into the early afternoon session here, and the markets rally up. Now, what else do we want to know about today? Well, the dollar's only down two pennies on the UUP. That's not a big drop. So why is oil having such a good day, up 47 cents like that? Why is the GLD actually higher nicely here? Let me punch up the GLD, up $2. The GLD is soaring today. Well, what you're seeing today, folks, is actually global kind of security return. All right. If Greece had been allowed to default on loans, you would have created a global catastrophe, much like the financial system, if they hadn't bailed out uh, you know, all the those financial players in the US. So by bailing out one, what you're doing is you're securing the fact that you're not going to go into a tailspin. If the economies had of the global of global setting gone into a tailspin, you would have seen a major reduction in demand for oil, for instance, for all these commodities like steel and so forth. Because again, all those countries going into vault, they're going to build less, the economies are going to suffer, therefore demand for these commodities are going to be in a major reduction. So stocks like, or the GLD, like up two dollars here. USO having a good day, up fifty cents right now. Look at US Steel. US Steel up almost three dollars on the day. AK Steel up a dollar twelve. 
Southern Copper here, up a dollar sixty-four. All these stocks are getting big boosts because what essentially is going on now is you're going to have a stimulus push in Europe which is going to flood money in, bail out countries. Again, it's Greece today. Who's it going to be tomorrow? Portugal, Spain, uh, Italy, you never know. But all these countries are going to ultimately need assistance, and that's where you're really coming into play here now, again, folks. So the fact that they're going to get that assistance means that the economies will generally stay stronger than they would have if they didn't, and that's going to create demand, or at least keep demand for commodities. Again, commodity stocks are reacting to that today very nicely with big moves. STLD right here, Steel Dynamics up 72 cents. I mean, you can look at any of these charts, guys. They're flowing here, big time. I mean, they're just having great moves. So in any case, that's what's going on here in the markets. Again, that's a really recap of what you have to pay attention to in today's market. If you want to look at the intraday charts, you can see we went up right here to this key level, pulled back, pierced it. Where do we go? Right to this level, master level. Then we paused right here, a little bit of a pullback. You can see the red candle, then burst through that. Where do we go? Right to this level, pulled back. All these levels are on my charts in the intraday stock chat live. Those of you in the intraday stock chat, you know, you watch my charts live. You, I talk to you live over a microphone. You're hearing me. You can type in questions. That's all in the intraday stock chat, folks. As I call out day trades, call out swing trades, it's all in the intraday stock chat. In addition, the Research Center gets all the swing trades that we do. We talk about analysis every night, 40-minute long video. You think this video is interesting? Check out the 40-minute one I do at night. It will blow you away. The analysis, the key insight, the guidance, the calls, all of them in that video. And that's just one thing in the Research Center. You get everything in the Research Center when you get it. All right, nonetheless, folks, let's talk about the 60-minute chart here. Quickly flip over. You do have resistance on the 60-minute chart at eight at 108.30. 108.30, there is resistance here. You can see you touched it, and then you pulled back. If we break through 108.30, guess where we're going? Gap window right here at 109.10. 109.10, and then gap fill would be the lower Great Wall of China starting in play at that point. A fascinating day, folks. Again, the weakness, the dollar, it's all in play today. The trades, the swing trades that I'm currently holding, Holding all in the money beautifully. We continue to be on the right side of the market here, looking for more action, more swing trades, more profits, all here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. Join the Research Center. Join the chat room. We'll see you soon. Take care.